Kia guys, what's going on and welcome back to my channel. So, I, I apologise, I haven't done one of these videos in a little while because to be honest, I kind of like, you know, held up on my purchasing from Gymshark, but I'm back. Anyway, Gymshark had the audacity to go out and just release, without any warning, this beautiful loungewear pause collection. So, that's what we will be reviewing today. I just have a couple of pieces from it. I also have a piece from the Training Pippa collection, um, just because it helped with my mixing and matching. So I'm going to review those because we all love some good loungewear. Am I right? So if you like the sound of this video, make sure you give it that big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And without further ado, let's get on into the try on video. <laughs> Alrighty, so like I said, pause collection. For some reason, I don't know, no one really talked too much about it. There were some other collections and stuff that dropped at the same time, so there was very minimal exposure from the athletes on Instagram in particular. So I was kind of like, alright, this is kind of cute. I kind of like it. I can, I can see myself wearing it. Why not just grab it to try? Guys, let me tell you, this is slept on. So I just went onto the Gymshark website a little bit, like ugh, 20 minutes ago or so. Here is a screen recording. How are these pieces still in stock? This is all I have to say. So keep that in mind as I go through this review because I have a funny feeling you probably want to go buy them after this because I'm telling you now, I kind of want every color. Not gonna lie. So yeah, there's like pretty much most sizes and everything. A few things have the smalls and extra smalls gone, but I mean, in general, most of the pieces and different colors have most of the sizes still left. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with my combination piece. So, in the Paws collection, they have three different colors. They have this kind of beigey looking color. They also have a gray and they have a cherry brown. So it's really similar to the Vital collection that they brought out in that beautiful brown color. Only problem is, as you would have seen from that screen recording as well, is that they actually didn't have the top, the Paws hoodie. They didn't have that in the cherry brown, which I was very confused about considering they had matching sets in all of them. So, nonetheless, I still bought the joggers, but what I bought instead was the Pippa to match it. So, let me get the leggings out, or joggers, turn them on round. These are the beautiful cherry brown pieces. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the Pippa um, little pullover, just because it is different to the paws. So I'm just gonna pop these ones here. All right, so. We're starting off Pippa Pullover. So, as you can see, it is beautiful for one. This color is just insanely beautiful. So, let's just start off with some of the details. So starting off right at the top, we have this nice little quarter zip, which, I mean, is a little bit high on my neck when I have it all the way zipped up. I do like the look of it a little bit further down, unzipped fully but it is still a nice little feature to have. We've also got that Gymshark logo just as usual. The fabric is very, very soft. And something I was really taken back by is that it's quite thin and soft, but it's still really warm. And so then when we go down to the arms, we have these nice, big, thick cuffs at the bottom. Again, they're still pretty thin in terms of the thickness of the material, but they're very decent in length, so they get really nice on the wrist there. Got those on both sides. And then as we come down to the bottom, we have a little kangaroo pouch here. So, nice little pocket. Because this is a cropped item, I find that having the pocket is not necessarily pointless, like it's really cute, but I don't often have my hands in it because my hands are really high. But, I mean, I like the fact that it has a pocket. It kind of just breaks up the full look of it, if that makes sense. And then at the bottom, we have almost like an elastic -y waistband, I guess you could say, which because it's cropped is really nice because it kind of sits right on your waist. Um, you'll see when I put it on that it does sit really nicely, especially when I wear leggings as well. I might insert a clip as well wearing leggings with it. They sit pretty much at the same level, so I like it because it means you can wear that cropped, kind of, you know, cute cropped vibe, but without it showing too much skin. So it's really quite conservative, but still cropped and cute. Um, and then the back is just plain. There's no details, no logo. Just nice, plain, beautiful and soft. One thing that I always like with Gymshark, it's always the little details. So, when you open up the neck and you look on the inside, I don't know why they do it, but I really appreciate it. So, let's see if I can get it to focus. They have Gymshark on the neckline on the inside. It's 
It's the little things. I really appreciate it. That like subtle branding on the inside that no one else is going to see. But you know it's there. It's just pretty cool. Alright, and if anyone was interested in the composition of it, it is 80% viscose. 13% polyester, 7% elastane. And so then the cuff, the part around the wrist, is 96% cotton and 4% elastane. So super duper soft, super stretchy as well. Like this thing is just got a lot of stretch to it. And it is absolutely beautiful. 10 out of 10 love this piece, wanted in every other color. All right, and now moving into all of the paws pieces that I have. So I pretty much have the joggers in the brown and in the kind of tan color. Then also have the hoodie in the tan color as well. So I love these. These are so beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the kind of makeup of the fabric so you guys can kind of get an idea of the type of fabric it is. So it is 95% polyamide and 5% elastane. So having that elastane in it, again, they're super duper stretchy in all directions. So they do stretch quite a bit. So when you hold them up, they do look quite big. This is a size small. So we've got to say I'm small in everything. I was a small in the Pippa, I'm a small in these. Um, the only time that I'm a medium is in some leggings, but obviously I would let you guys know if I was uh, wearing a medium in a different pair. But these ones here are a small. Right, let's start right at the beginning, shall we, at the top. So, coming up to the waistband, we have a nice stretchy, it's relatively thick as well. Let's see how much I can show you guys of how thick that is. So it's a decently thick waistband and it's got heaps of stretch to it. Then on the inside, it's got these fabric draw cords. So it does mean that you can tighten it, you know, cinch in that waist a little bit. Um, otherwise, you can just have it nice and loose. So these uh, joggers, keep calling them leggings, I'll explain why in a minute, but these joggers have a really pretty kind of ribbed pattern, so I'm not sure how well you guys are going to be able to see it on the camera, but there is a significant difference there between the plain fabric and the ribbed fabric, and so this ribbed goes all the way down the side, all the way down to the bottom, so it does have a front seam, obviously these are joggers, not like leggings, they don't cause any invasive problems or anything like that. So as we come down the leg, we've got this little Gymshark logo, which I really appreciate how neutral it is, like it stands out but not too much. So then as we come down the leg, that ribbed pattern comes all the way down to about your shin height. So then when we get to the shin, you'll see that it starts to curve off, hopefully you can see that over here, it's curving off that plain fabric and it continues that ribbed all the way to the bottom where we get to this nice thick, I wouldn't even call it a band at the bottom, it's pretty much the same fabric as what the ribbed is, it's just slightly thicker, but yeah, so that is just like a really really big band, if we're taking my hand for example, that is a pretty significant long kind of gathering at the bottom. But again, it lays really, really flat. And for me, this sits, it can sit around my ankles, but when it's around my ankles, it's a little bit loose. So I kind of just pull it up a little bit so that it sits more around my calf muscle. And I find that it gives more of the jogger appearance rather than the legging appearance. Perfect. And then at the back, it's pretty much similar to the front with that whole contouring. You can see that there, it curves all the way down and it does exactly the same thing on the back as it does on the front. Um, it does not have any sort of widow's peak or anything like that at the back in terms of accentuating the glutes, but you will see from the video, the fabric, I don't know how it does it. I don't know how it does it. I don't have a lot back there. <laughs> We're trying, all right. We're trying to grow back there. But for some reason, the way that the crotch is positioned and like, I don't know if it's the stitching or the fabric or what, it kind of just hugs the booty. And I'm not complaining. I think it looks awesome. And like I'm walking and I walk past the mirror and I'm like. Alrighty. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love these. These are so, so nice. To be fair, I probably could get away with an extra small in them. And so the reason I say this is because I find it really hard to make my brain differentiate between the fact that these aren't leggings. Like they're joggers. They're not leggings. So for me, I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, these could be a little bit tighter, but if they got them tighter, they would fit more like leggings. I'm like, oh, they're a little bit loose around the knees, a little bit loose up the top. And I'm like, well, actually they're meant to be, they're joggers, they're not meant to be form-fitted and stuck to my legs. So I have to keep telling myself, 
they don't look silly loose because they're joggers, not leggings, if that makes sense. But these do give the feel of like a really nice soft pair of leggings, if that makes sense. So yeah, when you do get them, they obviously look quite, I don't know, they look quite large to me for what I thought a small would be, which is fine. I'm absolutely fine with that because they're nice and comfy and they are joggers, not leggings. So, 10 out of 10 again. I just don't know why people have slept on this. These are beautiful. My only thing, only thing, is that they don't have pockets. And now I know that it would kind of potentially ruin the look of them because then they wouldn't be so sleek and smooth. But I'm a girl who likes to stand there, hands in the pockets and just like, just relax a little bit, you know? So not having pockets is not ideal. When I pair it with this one here, it's not too bad because I can put my hands in those kangaroo pockets if I'd like. But in terms of just wearing the joggers on their own, there's no pockets. Not a deal breaker for me, but just keep that in mind if you are after a pair of joggers that have like little pockets in them. All right, so my next two pieces are these beautiful babies are right here. So again, we have the paws collection. So here are the paws joggers and these are the paws hoodie. Ooh, we love a good hoodie. Um, so yes, I'll start off with the joggers because I just went over them. They're pretty much exactly the same. This is just kind of show you guys the color. So it's a pretty good representation of what the color is. It's just like a slightly like beigey, creamy color. And I thought because I am, I'm quite a fair, you know, fair skin tone, not gonna lie. Uh, I can sometimes be a little bit pink, a little bit translucent. Casper the ghost over here. Nonetheless, I thought that these would be a little bit too matching, if that makes sense. But as we can kind of see, hopefully you guys can see, there is a little bit of a difference. And I love these. I thought that the cherry brown was gonna be my favorite color. It is these guys right here. I don't know why, but wearing a full creamy white like set, I just feel real like kind of booty, kind of powerful, kind of feel good about myself. Um, but nonetheless, these are literally identical to the ones I just showed you in all of the details. They're just this beautiful cream color. I am a sucker for a good hoodie, something with a nice decent sized hood that I can just chuck on while I'm editing or doing uni work and just feel super, super, super comfortable. This is that. So this is slightly cropped but not too cropped. You'll see in the footage that I put up that it is, it's a decent length. So it comes down lower than the waistband of the joggers, which are, I would say you could make them high waisted or you could have them lower. It's completely up to you. They're very versatile in terms of the length. So let's get started, shall we? All right, so I will tell you the makeup of this hoodie and it is exactly the same as the joggers. It is 95% polyamide and 5% elastin. So again, super duper stretchy material. All right, so coming up to the top. At the top, we have Gymshark logo, smack bang in the middle, down the center. It is pretty neutral. I mean, you can see it, but you can't really see it too much. The whole fabric is pretty much the same as the joggers in terms of the plain fabric through here. It is when you get to kind of around the arm section and to the bottom of the jersey is where you start to see that ribbed fabric. All right, so we have the hood at the top. Again, it is nice and big. It's like not too big that you feel drowned in a hood, but it's big enough that you put it on and you're like, ooh, cozy. Um, and again, it's got these nice, nice fabric drawstrings so that you can pull the hoodie a little bit tighter if you'd like to kind of hide yourself away from the world and all your problems. So moving down the body, let me turn this around. I am all over the place today. Anyway, as we come down the, we come down to the bottom, this is where you're starting to see a little bit of that ribbed action. So we get to about under the arms, this is a probably a good place to start to show you. You can see that that ribbing comes in, it comes all the way down, and it does sweep across on like a nice curved angle there, it comes in. It's really hard to see in this color, but I'm hoping you guys can see that enough. Then it comes down to the bottom, and then at the bottom it has that nice kind of big band, almost like you see at the bottom of the joggers. All right, and then on the arms, they're so comfortable, guys. These sleeves are so comfortable. Anyway, so we have that ribbing and it goes all the way underneath. So if I flatten this out, you'll see it a little bit better. 
that ribbing there is all along the bottom it comes in beautiful and then as we come down to the end of the sleeve we once again have that ribbed kind of cuff at the bottom and the star of the show thumb holes they're my favorite oh I love thumb holes like all my long sleeves if they don't have thumb holes I get a little bit sad, you know, I just, I love a good thumb hole. And this is a super comfortable one as well. Sometimes thumb holes have the seam that runs along the inside, kind of like the Vital has that. But what I find with these ones is because they are that kind of folded over little kind of design, it makes it super duper comfortable. All right, and then coming to the back is pretty much the same as how I stated in the joggers or in the Pippa. It is very, very plain, but it has that same pattern that pops all the way down to the bottom. I love this so much. It is absolutely beautiful, guys. And, like, again, I just don't know how people haven't bought these, how there's not more hype about these. These should be sold out on the website because they are beautiful. And once again, the only thing that I have to say about the Paws Collection is where are the pockets? Like, this would be so cute with a little bit of a kind of kangaroo pocket similar to the Pippa. The people that I have seen wearing it will kind of like tuck it up, maybe into their sports bra to give that kind of separated look. But for me, I'm all about comfort. I'm just going to lounge around in this everything hanging out, just absolutely chilling, living my best life. So yeah, if I could say anything, guys, it would be to go get the Paws Collection because, like, isn't this beautiful? So beautiful. Alrighty team, so that just wraps up this quick little haul with my two new sets. I love these. Again, please just go and buy them. I'm telling you now, you will not regret it. I know New Zealand and Australia, we're about to head into autumn and then into winter, so it is going to be the perfect thing for just lounging around home in and keeping nice and snug warm and also a little cute. And obviously if you're overseas, you may not be heading into your winter months or your cooler months. You are getting a little bit warmer in your seasons, but these are super duper thin. So, you know, on those really nice, pretty, cool, calm nights, I'm telling you now, this is what you should be after team. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And just a little heads up, just a little sneaky FYI. There may be another Gymshark haul coming soon. Other than that guys, I hope you have a great day wherever you are. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.